To create a multiple response question, just open the test editor and click on the multiple response icon. Under the test, an item is created with the new question. By clicking on it, there appears in the right-hand side a new window to edit this new question. The multiple type questions differ from multiple choice questions because they allow several correct answers. Therefore, its operation is the same except for the score of the responses. Clicking next to the field name, we can access the properties of the question and change its internal name. Click here to change the wording of the question. And click OK. In the Answers section, click on the Add Answer icon to add as many options as we need. If there are too many choices, we can remove them using the Delete Answer icon. To edit the answers, select an option and click on this button. We enter the text and accept. Do the same with all the options. Using these options, we can change the order of the answers or access the properties of the text of the answers. We can mark an answer as critical if it's necessary to answer it correctly to pass the question. Similarly, we mark a question as critical if it is necessary to answer it correctly to pass the test, regardless of the total score. We can enter a message that will appear as feedback, giving a different message depending on whether the answer to the question is correct or incorrect. Finally, we mark the correct answers. We shall see more about the scoring in these questions. There are two ways to define the score on the multiple response questions. The first one is about giving a score to both right and wrong answers, although these are negative. That is to say that we mark 1 in the ponderation column for all the right answers and minus 1 for all the wrong answers. Thus, if the user selects a wrong answer, one point is deducted and will not reach the maximum score. The second method is to score the correct answers and leave wrong answers unmarked. That is to say that we mark 1 in the ponderation column only for correct answers while in the unselected ponderation column, we enter the value 1 for incorrect answers. We must then introduce the maximum possible score, which will be the sum of the ponderations of the correct answers plus those of the unmarked answers. Once the test is finished, close the editor and preview the page to check its correct operation.